The utility has a goal and a plan for utilizing 100% net renewables in 2030. That would include our energy from the Westside Solar Project, hydro at our Lake Zumbro facility, and then wind generation as well. Uh, EDF Renewables developed the uh, Westside Solar Project in partnership with RPU, which we are standing here at today. Uh, dating back to 2019, I worked on the development process of this project, and uh, finally great to, to see it built and be here today. I think it's a great investment to continue the development of solar and adding more solar sites because it, it's one of the safest methods of creating power for communities. EDF has uh, a breadth of experience across Minnesota working on projects just like the one we're standing next to today. So the one we're standing next to today is a, uh, about a 10 megawatt AC, 13 megawatt DC solar project. There's I think 30,900 and some panels out here on this whole project. Put all that together, assemble them, coordinate it. The wiring, the electrical, the electronics, the fiber that's in place is pretty impressive. We actually did the underground construction for the uh, solar field and we went um, from the site here to the north all the way up to the hydro pillar and then we went from the solar field all the way up to 7th Street um, to the south and combination of those two runs were you know probably three three miles or so and it was all installed underground. Every person in Rochester gets to participate in the output of this solar panel just by living in Rochester and being a customer of RPU. The output of this solar field will connect directly to one of our substations that serves the customers of Rochester Public Utilities. It will also help us to meet that 2030 100% renewable goal as a first step. During the typically the most expensive times of the day where RPU has to buy the most expensive power, this output will be online and providing its peak output. So everybody with, that lives in Rochester can take part in knowing that their carbon footprint is going down because a municipal utility was able to put solar panels in. The foundation of being a municipal utility is local control and local decision making. And this is a prime example of us as a municipal listening to our local customers and coming up with a plan that satisfies those wants, needs, and desires. We live here, we work here, and we realize that the decisions we're making now don't just impact us today, but our families and our community for generations in the future.